Paul Heyman is now the newest inductee of the WWE Hall of Fame class of 2024. Heyman was born on September 11, 1965 in the Bronx, New York. He began his professional wrestling career in 1986. He is arguably the greatest manager of all time. Known as Paul E. Dangerously, he was the owner of ECW, Extreme Championship Wrestling, which was in business from 1993 until 2001. Heyman has been the manager for six world champions, including The Big Show, Kurt Angle, Rob Van Dam, CM Punk, Brock Lesnar, and Roman Reigns. Heyman began a mail-order business selling celebrity and sports memorabilia from his home when he was 11 years old. As a teenager, he managed to talk his way backstage at a WWF event at Madison Square Garden as a photojournalist. In February of 1987, Heyman made his managerial debut for championship wrestling from Florida, joining forces with Kevin Sullivan and Oliver Humperdinck, and acquired the name Paul E. Dangerously because of his resemblance to Michael Keaton's character in Johnny Dangerously. Between 1988 and 1993, Heyman was part of WCW. There, he began managing the original Midnight Express and Mean Mark Callis, before settling in as an announcer alongside Jim Ross. Heyman led Rick Rude to the United States Championship, before being fired from WCW after clashes with Bill Watts. In February of 1993, Heyman filed a lawsuit against WCW alleging wrongful termination and ethnic discrimination. The case was settled out of court. Heyman went on to form ECW in 1993, becoming the sole owner in 1995 by buying out Todd Gordon. It was during his time in ECW that he developed a relationship with Vince McMahon. McMahon paid Heyman $1,000 per week to rent out two cold Scorpio. Unfortunately, Heyman and ECW ran into severe financial problems, resulting in ECW filing bankruptcy in 2001, two weeks after WCW was sold to the WWF for $2 million. WWE acquired the rights to ECW's video library in 2003. Heyman became a commentator for WWF on Raw in 2001. He then went on to manage Brock Lesnar who became WWE Undisputed Champion by defeating The Rock at SummerSlam in 2002, becoming the youngest Undisputed Champion in history at the time. In 2003, Heyman became the general manager of SmackDown, replacing Stephanie McMahon. However, he was ultimately drafted to Raw to work for Eric Bischoff. He refused and quit, with Kurt Angle replacing him as general manager of SmackDown. ECW briefly returned between 2005 and 2006, with Heyman appearing to be in charge on screen, with minimal creative input off camera. He would ultimately leave WWE at the end of 2006 due to creative differences, and a desire to push CM Punk. He wouldn't return to the WWE until 2012. Heyman returned to the WWE in 2012 as Brock Lesnar's legal advisor. Later that year, he also began managing CM Punk. Eventually they parted ways, and he began exclusively representing Brock Lesnar, who ended The Undertaker's undefeated streak at WrestleMania 30 in 2014. During this time, Lesnar went on to win the WWE Championship twice, and the Universal title three times, including a then-record 504-day title reign. Heyman represented Lesnar until 2020, until Lesnar opted not to sign a new contract. He then became Roman Reigns' special counsel, who has held the Universal Championship for more than 1,200 days. Heyman has now been in the wrestling business for over 35 years, and shows no signs of slowing down. He has made himself the most relevant and greatest manager in wrestling history, because if you are a Paul Heyman guy, you just keep winning.